Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. A cork delight from Italy awaits my glass, and if viticulture is more your jam than brewing, stick around. This grape ale is just for you. The Italian peninsula has a distinct reputation for cultivation of grapes, which fuels a thriving market for all kinds of wines. However, wine is not the only way to enjoy fermented grapes, and the crew at Cal del Brado are on a mission to prove it. Located just south of Bologna, the team started brewing commercially in 2016. The bulk of their refreshments are unconventional, at least to newcomers of the Italian craft beer scene, making use of wild yeast strains, bacteria, and all kinds of casks to impart wine-like characteristics to their beers. So what are the fruits of their labor? One of their seasonal treats, called U Baccarossa, showcases much of their unorthodox approach. Coming in a corked bottle, this Italian grape ale measures in at 7.9% alcohol by volume and 27 IBU. Making use of 10% Centesimino grapes, fermented using both spontaneous methods as well as Britannomyces yeast, and finally aged for seven months in a wooden vat, crafting a single bottle of U Baccarossa truly is an art form as much as it is labor intensive. The result of all that patience and hard work is a brilliant, bright red ale. The aroma is funky, but in a good way. Remember, fermentation at its most fundamental is controlled spoilage. Additionally, the scent carries some red fruit notes. Getting the glass to your lips, you'll initially get a sour hit as the liquid settles onto your palate. This is tempered by a dry finish that, no kidding, I felt in the back of my throat as the bubbles popped. After settling, it's a perfectly pleasant refreshment for sipping especially if you're fortunate enough to have an hours-long dinner to enjoy. On that note, Ubacarosa presents a challenge in pairing with food. It's a craft-made specialty, so what could do it justice? You need something hefty enough to punch back against all this beer has going on, without canceling it out entirely. Taking all that into consideration, my instinct tells me that a creamy lemon pasta would pair nicely. There's rich butter to contrast with the dryness of the beer, lemon to match the pronounced sourness, garlic and parsley to complement the earthiness, and filling noodles doused in cream and parmesan to refresh your palate between sips. If you want a little bit more of a kick, don't shy away from reaching for the red pepper shaker. What matters most is that you have something on your table that can tango with U Baccarossa. Thank you kindly for watching, and thank you very much for sampling all kinds of brewed treats this spring. I'm already working on the next few videos, and I'm very eager to share them with you. I'll be back with more features soon, my friends. Until then, chin chin.